In this video, I'm going to talk about uterine contractions. There are two types mainly Braxton Hicks contractions and labor contractions. Braxton Hicks contractions are usually seen throughout the pregnancy. These contractions are painless and irregular and usually localized to the lower abdomen and the intensity of contraction remains same throughout the pregnancy and the pain subsides with rest and sedatives. While labor contractions are painful and they are found to be regular and indicates the onset of labor and it's usually accompanied with dilatation of cervix and the lower abdominal pain radiates to the back and thigh. Labor contraction intensity, frequency, duration increases with time and uh, the pain persists even with the use of sedatives. Next, I'm going to talk about the origin of the uterine contractions. Uterine contractions takes origin from the cornu of the uterus. There is both the left and the right corner of the uterus. Usually, uh, it takes its origin from right corner first and then the left corner. From there, the contraction spreads to the fundus, called as the fundal predominance. And from there, it spreads to the rest of the uterus. The usual rate at which the uterine contractions or the uh, depolarization spreads is at the rate of 2 cm per second and takes about 15 seconds to depolarize the entire uterus. Next, we'll talk about what do you mean by adequate uterine contractions. These criteria has to be satisfied to call it as an adequate uterine contraction. There must be at least three contractions per 10 minutes. Each contraction lasting for about 45 seconds and the intrauterine pressure of about 65 to 75 millimeters of mercury or 220 Montevideo unit. There's a term called as tachycystole, which is referred to as more than five uterine contractions in 10 minutes. This is found to cause uh, fetal distress.